I don't think this video will take very long, YouTube. Maybe we'll show you anyway. It's some kind of... This is not a tree I'm familiar with. It's some kind of... Looks like an oak. Like the bark. But it has that curly willow look. It's also a columnar tree. Kind of like a Lombardy poplar or Italian cypress. It's columnar. Somebody uh, tell me in the comment section what kind of tree this is. I don't know. It reminds me of when I was starting out. I had no real education in trees and I had logging experience and I would tell people, I don't know what it is, but I know how to get rid of it. I was probably not, I was a morally upright, but I wasn't the most skillful guy you could hire in the book back then. Now I'm improved some. So yeah, we'll flop this. There's room. There's room through all of the, over the river and through the woods, but I think we can miss all the hazards and put this on the ground. Fairly evenly distributed weight. When you're standing at the base looking out here, it looks like, whoa, maybe we shouldn't do this. But when you get out here and you look back, it looks like, oh yeah, we should, we should do this. Shortened up that stem a lot by high stumping it with an open face cut. Main impact right here is directly center. So that's good. I bet you those uh, six by sixes made the shape of a six by six in the lawn, which means we saved the sidewalk. The whole thing? <laughs> I just hope it'll clear the head. Well, hopefully not wreck the grass super bad. Well, that's the beauty of this is we don't have to do anything fast. Tree hitting the ground needed to land on those. Yeah. No, it was a perfect shot. Yeah, the, the main impact is dead center where that limb hit. Yeah. I thought it was gonna go on its own. I was watching it and it started to creep and then the wind picked up and it started sitting back I hated a that. And I, I saw watched that. Yeah, I watched you tick a little little bit and it went and then sat, it was like it must have had like really even weight transfer. And I was like going it could be the same that way. Of course that chimney would have held it the whole way. Right. 
So it was a perfect scenario for looking ballsy but not being that ballsy. Yeah. Because it didn't need much. I mean, I barely hit it with the wedge and it started to go on the go. I think that will all hold it so much that this won't get mashed. It'll be able to clear it. Yeah. If the truck is strong enough. All right, just keep an eye that you don't start tipping. That's your only concern, really. I'll watch this side. See right there? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. So we just don't want you to tip. What we're trying to do is sneak it over until we're in capacity. So if it starts to tip, then you'll have to set it down and we'll have to do something different. Yeah, this way we won't have the whole load anytime soon. We'll clear the uh, little shrubs here. Do you think that's a do bag of uh, dog crap? I don't know. Check out our dispersion quality. Not bad. A little worse on this side. So squishy, I think we can fix that. It's like a big horse's tail or something dragging. It, it almost looks like sea kelp a bit. Yeah. Watch those wires is the main thing. What wires? Oh, I was talking to Damien. Oh. He, he's up, but I don't want him to... No sudden movements and swings by the wires. All right, boom down, just very carefully. We want to point it toward the yeah, I plywood. To point it right towards that mat. So if you boom down super careful, we got her. The boom controls YouTube are a little bit sudden sometimes. So you have to be very deliberate. I look pretty smooth. Yeah, that'll work. We'll, we'll shove on it. Cable down. lawn is absolutely squish squishy squishy it's a nice neighborhood except for the out of control monkey beaver population meanwhile jeff has been making a mess Cut it flat off. One pass. Nice and low. One pass. Uh, or maybe a shelf on the building side. I'll lead it. I'll pull it. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. And we're kind of pulling it straight up. It's a little heavy, I can feel it up on the truck.
going back out. Thank you for your service, Mr. Stumpy. Hold on, I gotta make a pruning cut with the 500i and the crane. Let me show you the much coveted 500i collar cut. I gotta show you guys this cool knife. They didn't sponsor me to say this, but it's called the Espada. Check it out. It's a folding knife, but it has this, this little hook on it. It's faster than a switchblade. Watch this. Isn't that cool? It's in your pocket. It's all folded up. And it's out. You only got one hand free and you got to get the blade out. The only thing quicker would be a straight blade, but then you would have a sheath. It's all folded up. And it's out. Super cool, huh? Hey guys, Sam here with monkeybeaver.com. Just want to show you our newest custom saddle. And this guy is available. This is our Paul Bunyan saddle. You know, gave him a little bit of the uh, gene look. He is the original arborist. We also gave him letters. It's just an all-around cool saddle. And of course, Paul Bunyan is nothing without Babe the Big Blue Bag. So, if you guys are interested in this, give Evan a call. This guy's available. Happy climbing, guys.